Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, yeah, boys. And today we're gonna go and review 87 rated showdown Upamecano. Looks pretty decent in my opinion. We're looking at a card that's six one high medium right foot, double three star combination, 84 pace, 70 passing, 74 dribbling, 86 defending, 87 physicality, no traits in game. Now the hunt, excuse me, the camp style I went with this card was the shadow chemistry style, boost up that pace. Because he has a good sprint speed, but acceleration 76. At this stage of the game, you want CBs with 79 plus acceleration, in my opinion. Defending is a little low with the interceptions and defensive awareness, in my opinion. So you gotta give him that shadow chemistry style. Physicality is really good with the strength, then the aggression, and the jumping. Stamina 70, you know, it might be an issue for the most part, center backs with that type of stamina. For the most part, don't. it's not really an issue, so I don't think it's going to be a combo. We'll have to see. In-game, Upamecano is going to be playing in a 4-3-2-1. Right center back, right next to Schlotterbeck. So, obviously, France play Argentina in the final this Sunday. I'm going for France now because I want Upamecano to get upgraded. I want my Griezmann to get upgraded. We're going to have to see the vibes. Is he worse than Schlotterbeck? Is he a top 10 CB in the game? You know, I, I'm not really a fan of Pomecano and FIFA because they always fuck up his pace splits. But with that being said, we're going to play some champs games and see the vibes with the card. All right, here we go with game number one, y'all boys. Let's see what type of team we're going against. Um, Okay. Ooh, pretty good team. Pretty good team. Definitely going to be a good test. Okay, good tackle right there from the card. Nice tackle right there. Great job. Nice stopping that counter right there. Great interception from the card. All right, guys. So we got a Rage Queen in the first game. Going straight into the second one right now. Nice job. Pamecano, Bonnie Morientes. We do love to see that. Great interception from the card. Tracking that messy run right here. <sighs> nice. Okay, that was pretty nice. Nice job. Nice job. <sighs> I'm a con, okay. Gonna catch up to Stoiko. That was nice. Ooh, nice, nice. Nice tackle. Nice job. Send Figo on this run. Good ball. See, Obama kind of doesn't really have that speed to catch up. He just got cooked again right there from Stoikov. There we go. Good defense. Nice. Nice tackle. All right, yeah, boys, and that concludes the review from the card. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my verdict on him right now. All right, guys, so we just reviewed 87 rated Upamecano World Cup Showdown. Coming around 210,000 coins if you do them from scratch on the PlayStation or Xbox, 205,000 coins on the PC. Now, comparing the 87 Showdown to the 81 Gold, it's a plus two pace, plus five shooting, plus nine passing, plus six dribbling, plus six defending, and plus six physicality. Um, you do get, you know, lengthy with the card when you give him a shadow chemistry style. Now, pros of this Upamecano is, I apologize for the train in the background, but is the physicality. As a one-on-one -on -one defender with this card, 
whenever you're trying to go against him or dribble towards him, he and if he gets the ball and he tackles you, he's going to win the tackle every single time. So I like that a lot from the card, how physical and strong his presence is. Now, the pace is a little bit of an issue at times. As you guys saw one highlight, and I was actually getting cooked a lot of the times. Pamecano, he doesn't really catch up to the attacker if he's losing the battle of the pace. Basically, if somebody's in front of him, he's not gonna be able to catch up to them. He's he's not gonna be able to catch up to them, you know? 76 acceleration, we gave him the shadow chemistry style. It's just not enough. That's a con in the card, in my opinion. Now, another con in the card is the 72 ball control. Times where you're trying to turn out the back with the card and he feels a little clunky. A little clunky trying to play out the back, so be limited. Be very limited when you're playing out the back with the card. Um, now, pro of the card, which I thought it was going to be a con, is the passing. Now, obviously, if you somehow or if you're able to turn in tight situations, if you pass out the back with this card, he will complete the pass nine times out of ten, even, even with the three-star weak foot. I was passing with the weak foot, and he does have 83 short pass. So that's really good from the card. Stand tackle, similar, similar to what I was saying earlier with the physicality. If he, if you're on a one-on-one -on -one with an attacker and a Pamecano, you're right there and the attacker's coming towards you, he's gonna win the ball. His stand tackling is really good. There's not really any rebound bullshit going on with that. So I like that a lot from the card. He's really solid. So overall, an all right card. Not really anything too crazy, unfortunately. Um, if France wins, he could become a little bit better with that plus two, in my opinion. I think he'll be even better than what he is right now because now he's just he's just an all right CB. So for the rating of today's video, I'm gonna give Upamecano an 8.0 out of 10, if not a 7.5. Yeah, 7.5. I'm gonna give him a 7.5. I wasn't really too much of a fan of the card. I will be saying, but. He's a little bit above average, I will say that. 7.5 out of 10. Um, I think with the plus two, if France win the World Cup, 8.0 should be safe enough. But yeah, guys, that concludes the review for Upamecano. Let me know if you guys will complete this card or Correa in the comment section down below. Uh, the next player review I will be dropping will be one of those World Cup team of the tournament cards. I don't know which ones, whether it's Mbappe, Messi, Foden, Perisic. We'll have to see what's up. But be on the lookout, enable those notifications. I will be streaming on Twitch as well later tonight. Some champs games. And it's been your boy down FIFA. God bless you guys. And I'm out. Bye-bye.